episode of Broken Play. We could finally say it. Last week was our first episode. Man, the feedback and the reviews, oh, my God. These sports shows are getting scared. Skip Bayless DM me. He said, how much is it going to cost to make it stop? Nothing, nigga. <laughs> Get your money right. No, nah, man. I was just saw a lot of people liking the show, and I'm glad, man. It, it, it felt so good and felt so natural. We had Josh Smith on last week, and he, you know, talked about a lot of things. But I want to talk about what I talked about. And I told y'all, I said Tank was going to beat the boy. And I said what round he was going to beat the boy. I don't got to watch shit. I'm willing to bet I will shave all my hair off. I will go bald if Ryan Garcia beats Javante Tank Davis. You, you hearing it live. Like, I, I'm so confident in him. I'm willing to bet. I'm willing to make my entry. Knockout before round seven. <laughs> Seventh round. He did it. He did it. Man. I don't want to say I'm a psychic. I, 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 I don't want to say I got this God-given talent, which I do. But that, then I call it. I called it. Like, no no questions asked. Now, if we being honest, that first round, that first round with Garcia, they was filling each other out. That second round, I said, oh, Garcia ain't scared of him. But when Tank started making him miss, I said, oh, this a crash dummy. He was, he was so excited. He was so excited. I said, oh, Tank finna knock him out. Seventh round. And then it's the hit you got knocked out with. Don't get me wrong. I ain't, I'm not no fighter. I ain't no boxer. But you ain't gonna hit me in my stomach and I fall. Bro, you will have to carry me out of there before I fall from a stomach shot. Hit me in my face. That's the only way you knocking me out. You ain't knocking me out from here. He talk too much trash. Then you gonna come talking about you had a mole in your camp. Bruh, if a mole in your camp told Tank, if you hit him in his stomach, he gonna fall, you shouldn't have been boxing anyway. That ain't no mole. You ain't been eating right. Everybody wanna be vegan. Everybody, everybody wanna juice the whole time. Start, if you were eating pork chops and pork ribs, ain't nobody finna knock you out from no stomach punch. Cause you got something to fight it. You feel me? At least that's what I think. I could be wrong, but I'm not. But no, nah, and another thing with that, I think Tank has brought boxing to, to that exciting stage again where the stars go to the boxing matches and, and things of that nature. Like, you know, Floyd, Floyd had it at one point, but I never really saw Floyd get it to that Mike Tyson era and uh, Evander Holyfield era, that the end of that Lennox Lewis era. And I think with Floyd, because truth be told, you know Floyd was going to win. And Floyd, you got to love boxing to appreciate Floyd because Floyd is a defensive god. You're not going to hit him. He's not trying to knock you out. He's going to get you tired and just, just, just hit on you a little bit. Tank! Want to knock your ass out. And that's what black people, that's what we like about boxing. You know, not to put race on it, but Mexicans and whites, they like to see, you know, all the footwork and all that. Look at his foot. Damn that footwork. Knock his ass out. And that's what Tank did. Knocked his ass out. Oh, um, hey, Garcia. They talking about who uh, will Tank fight next? Anybody. <laughs> After watching that, anybody. I want I want to see him fight Crawford though. Crawford, I think that'll be a good fight. I think that'll be good a good fight. But I don't want to hear nothing else about Garcia. They better not bring up no rematch, no nothing. If you would have got knocked out like a real man, like a a hit to your jaw where your jaw go like that, something like that, you know when somebody hits you in your mouth and your jaw go the other way, that's what you get knocked out on. Don't nobody hit you in your belly button and you fall. So fast, man. And he talked all that trash. 
He's talking about some, what? But you don't hit, you You got the worst punch percentage. He's talking all that at the press conference. You know all the stats. And you get hit in your navel and you fall to the ground. He could have fought some more. He started helping the referee count. The referee was like one, two, three. He said four, five, six. Man, in this. In this. And I don't blame him. You want to add some excitement to your sporting events? Then download my favorite app. Prize Picks. Prize Picks have helped me save and get the tuition. All right, I'm lying. I've been losing a lot lately. But Prize Picks is fun. I'm having fun doing it. Man, the best players over under. It's too easy. It's, it's simple. You don't even need a high school diploma to do this. I'm doing it. And I'm making a lot. I'm making a little money. <laughs> All first time users that deposit and use my promo code will receive a 100% instant deposit. Match up to $100. So that means if you deposit $100, Prize Picks gonna give you $100. If you deposit $50, Prize Picks will give you $50. If you deposit $39, prize pick, I don't know why would you do that, but prize pick will give you $39. How does it work? You pick two to six players, and if they will go, score more or less than the prize pick's projection. You can win up to 25 times your money on any entry. It's available in over 30 states. What are you waiting for? Go ahead over there. Prize picks right now by tapping the link below and tell them 85 South sent you over there for the 100% deposit match up to $100. Prize Picks. Download Prize Picks today and play daily fantasy sports with us. Make sure to use promo code BROKENPLAY when you sign up. Broken Play. This weekend, we was lucky enough to go to the Hawks game, man. You know I'm a real reporter now. Like with my sports show, they need me at the games. But they don't respect us. <laughs> All the other reporters are down there on the court they had me so far up. I'm on the third level, and they had my car. I, I moved that. I'm not going to let nobody know we sitting way up here, way up here, getting our stats. So we went down there to the bottom floor. Yeah, yeah, welcome back to Broken Play. Here we are, game four. Uh, it's a lot of Celtic fans in the building. It looks like it's about even. Uh, home court advantage, not so much. Uh, the Celtics up 2-1. Let's see what the Hawks can do at home. Well, let's just see what the Celtics can do at that second home. It's a lot of Boston Celtics fans. Uh, we got the sixth man of the year coming up right here. Uh, should be a good game. I feel like if the Hawks come out and play hunger and aggressive at first, get that shots off, it'll be a long game. If the Celtics scores, get the scoring, it can be hard. How you feel, man? You, uh, you up 2-1, how you feel? How you feel about tonight? We're good, man. You know, we're playing against a really good team. We just got to go in here and make it as tough as possible. Last question, did you watch the fight last night? I did, man. What you think about the fight? Tank did what he's supposed to do, right? <laughs> yeah. So are you familiar with, uh, did you see when Shaq and Charles were making jokes? Did you see that? <laughs> what, you, what you think about that? <laughs> All right, appreciate it. Have a good game, Derek. This is the OG veteran, veteran, Hall of Famer, Mr. Cedric uh, Maxwell. How do you feel today? Doing fine, man. Came in here just to see the uh, Celtics brush these damn hawks off, man. Okay, so tell me this now. How many you see the Celtics winning by? Uh, 15. 15? You got it, <laughs> Right now, it's so loud and live in State Farm Arena right now. It's a close game. 95, 90 at the moment. Uh, the Celtics are up by five. If the Hawks can steal this one and make it 2-2, it will be good. We got 10 minutes left. Stay tuned. So, Jalen, like you said, this is a uh, home for you. So, you know, a lot of your family got to come out. Did you get a good meal with family? Today, what, what, what kind of Sunday dinner you had? Uh, yeah, I had some. I had a good meal when I first, when I touched down. It was uh, it was ease. So it was a celebration of you know ending your fast. So I went to right. you know go see my godson, and I uh, had a good meal. Uh, I got to see some of my family. You know they came to the game um, on Fridays. Went to dinner after the game. So. Uh, Definitely got a chance to see some family. Definitely got some good meals in and got a good win in too. Great game, man. Appreciate you. And Dom was like, nah, bro, we don't want to mess up our... I said, Dom, this is their last home game. <laughs> like, like, let that be real. Like, let that be real. They not coming back. 
I said, let's find us a seat on the lower level. What's the worst that can happen? You can't come back to the next home. Y'all can't come back to the next home game neither. And that's why Murray bumped the referee. Man, I'm not finna get on that plane. I'm finna stay right here and chill at home. Anytime, and I feel like I don't want to put blame on the referee. But if I just lost the game, get the hell out of my way. Don't make me show you on man. And that's what he did. They be talking about some of the players don't care no more. He tried to show you he care. Get the hell out of his way. But yeah, Murray, he tripped out. But no, that didn't really feel like a home game for the Hawks. I know Boston Celtics, they got a lot of, you know, fans, you know, Celtic fans from over the years, you know, all, all through that um, 80s, 90s, 2000s, all, the, all those years. But, bro, when I tell you it was 50-50 in there, Celtics and Hawks, it was 50-50. So it's hard to, you know, I hear Big T, he was like, come on, Hawks fan, make some noise. It was most Celtics booing. Because, you know, in Atlanta, all you got to do is go down by half a point. We'll start leaving out. And, and that's what I saw. But I don't I don't think it's so much of the Hawks not playing good. The Celtics just, a, man, Jalen Brown and Jason Tatum, when both of them clicking, I don't care who you got on out there. It's going to be hard. Trey Young actually had a good game. I feel like Murray played good. Uh, Capella. You know who I do like for the Hawks, though? I can't say his name, so I just say his nickname. Bogey. Bogunovich. Yeah. Hey, man, when they say Bogey for three. That man, Bogey be shooting. Aaron Rodgers done went to the Jets. How y'all feel about How you feel about that, Marcel? Uh... I think it's good for the Jets in New York. They, I think it was an even trade, too. They didn't give too much up. Um, the Jets did. So, we'll see. I think they may be a contender for the AFC. Um, I think they're on the East or something. Yeah, they're in the AFC East. Yeah, but the Bills still want to win it, I feel like. Yeah. And, and this is me. Um, I think Aaron Rodgers, I always thought this. Aaron Rodgers is, like, one of those quarterbacks that's, like, amazing. He's an amazing quarterback. But he doesn't have any dog in him. It don't matter where you go, who you play with, it's going Aaron Rodgers never stopped getting to the NFC Championship. He never stopped getting to the playoffs. He just shut down. And now you're going to the AFC? You leave, you leave in an easy division. He was over there playing the Bears. Not, not to say nothing against the Bears, but. You play the Bears two times. You play the Detroit Lions two times. And you might split with the Vikings. Vikings Vikings, pretty straight. Other than that, bro, you should have stayed your ass right there and got some people to come over there and play with you. But I think he was just tired of the Green Bay situation. But don't come over there. Bro, AFC got too many teams. You're going to have to go against, uh, what's the uh, Bills quarterback name? Josh Allen, a damn dog. Miami got a good team. Patriots, Bill Belichick, he going to beat you one time. He going to figure something out about you, Aaron Rodgers. But I do like the Jets' defense, and I feel like all they was missing was a quarterback, but I don't think it was Aaron Rodgers. I think, bro, sometimes it's time to go, and that's what we don't realize. Sometimes it's time to wrap it up. And I – and I've been seeing the reviews from the show. A lot of people, I, a lot of women actually been watching this sports show. I don't know if they trying to get, you know, athletes, but this is the perfect show to watch, baby. We're going to tell you the bets, and you're going to know the lingo. So when he, he, he hear you talk, he's going to be like, oh, I can watch the game with her? You don't even know. All you got to do is copy everything I'm saying. <laughs> he might propose to you right then. But if your girl... Was at that tank fight in Vegas? You got to start figuring life out. She gone. That ain't no regular fight. If she had a fight like that, it's bigger than sports. <laughs> she ain't no sports fan. 
she got a sponsor. And he's spending money. And he like her. And you got to get a better job. Oh, my God. Dylan Brooks. Dylan Brooks. Just stop. Just stop. Why would you, why would you make LeBron that mad? Then Dylan Brooks refused to talk to the press. That's the only thing I don't like about people. If you don't talk to all that trash, man, go go talk. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, he got me tonight. That's what I, I tell people, because I, I play spades a lot. Whether I got a good hand or a bad hand, I'm going to talk. Because I don't want you, you will know the difference. If you don't had a bad game, still talk. And that's what he ain't do. Man, LeBron at 30, what are you, 39? 38, I done put another year on him. Yeah, 20. 20 and 20. Talking about you won't respect nobody until they get 40 points on you. That's worse. 20 rebounds? You let a 38-year-old man get 20 rebounds on you? Dylan Brooks. They saying I need a co-host. You might as well come do it. Come on, you might get you might get released. Ain't no damn way I'm keeping you on my team. And you let a 38. I don't care if he is LeBron James. Hit him with one of them tank punches in the name. <laughs> See if it really worked, man. Before I let somebody get 20 rebounds on me, bro, I'm gonna foul out. I'm gonna get a technical foul, a flagrant foul. I'm gonna bow you. Stop letting somebody just get 20 rebounds, bro. That's Crazy. NFL draft this week. Who we got going number one? I, I, I like Bryce Young and I like CJ Stroud. I feel like you can't go wrong with neither one of them. Who you like that? They said CJ Stroud scored low on his testing. Uh some they you know they had a the rent test and all that type of stuff. Everybody is not a tester. Everybody not a tester. Y'all should figure that out by now. I think Ryan Leaf did good on his testing, who, who went after Peyton Manning. And you see what he did? Nothing. That's because you know the answers. Those type of people be great backup quarterbacks and great assistant coaches when you can test real good because you, you see different plays. I don't want nobody to know the plays. When everything busts down, show me what you do. That's why I used to love Michael Vick. He ain't never watched no, no film. You don't need to. Everybody don't have to work hard. Some people just got it. Some people just got it. You got to be, you got to start realizing. They say hard work beats talent when talent don't work hard. Man, that's a damn lie. <laughs> when I played football as a young, I, I was dedicated. I used to go to practice early, leave late, and I still didn't start. Hard work ain't nothing. If you ain't got it, you ain't got it. I don't give a damn who you are. And we'll be back on that note. Uh, we're going to get into some highlights and some lowlights. We got the prize pick of the week, and we got some special guests coming up. Stay tuned. What's up, everybody? This episode is sponsored by Blue Chew. You got to rock with Blue Chew. Blue Chew going to make the Blue Chew do what the Blue Chew going to do. And if you don't have the Blue Chew, she messing with somebody who got the Blue Chew, and she going to know the difference. Matter of fact, I'm on two blue shoes right now, and I don't even know if I got some set up. But I'm ready when it's time to be ready. Blue Chew is a unique online service that delivers the same active ingredients as Viagra, Cialis, Levitra, but in chewable talents, and at a fraction of the cost. The best part, it's all done online. So no visits to the doctor's office, no awkward conversations, and no waiting in line at the pharmacy. The process is simple. Sign up, bluechew.com. Consult with one of their licensed medical providers, and once you're approved, you'll receive your prescription within days. Chew it and do it. And we got a special deal for our listeners. Try Blue Chew free when you use our promo code, 85sports, at checkout. Just pay the $5 in shipping. That's bluechews.com, promo code 85sports to receive your first month free. Visit bluechew.com for more details and important safety information. And we thank Blue Chew for sponsoring this podcast. Jimmy Buckets. Ain't no more Butler no more. Jimmy Buckets. 56? Dad, you saw that coming?
Marcel, 56 points? Hell no. Jimmy not, like, don't get me wrong. Jimmy is a great all-around player. But just for him to drop 56 on you, he don't, he don't start feeling disrespect. <laughs> That's what it boiled down to. Did you see after he hit that shot, he said, this my shit? Yeah. They say he one of the best Heat players of all time. And all he had to say was, this my shit. <laughs> I know Dwayne Wade was like, dang, y'all going to disrespect me like that? He got the, he got, well, he number three for the most points in playoff history. Yeah, tied for number three. Tied for number three with who? Most in the franchise? Yeah. Even when LeBron was there? Yeah, LeBron. He tied number three with Charles Barkley, Michael Jordan, Wilt Chamberlain. Yeah. Right. Who the, who the, who the uh, top two? Michael Jordan, number one, right? Michael Jordan, number one, 63 against Boston, and they lost that game. Uh-huh. Elgin Baylor, number two, 61 against Boston, and Donovan Mitchell, 57 against Denver in the bubble. Yeah. Uh, that bubble different. Not not to take away, like, you know what I'm saying, you score, but the reason why I say that bubble is different is because, bro, that crowd make a big difference. Man, Jim, man, I'm talking about 56, though? Crazy. Crazy. And Giannis played. <laughs> it ain't no, it, you ain't, you didn't play no depleted team. He went against the Bucks. We the AFC. And, and the only thing that I have to say, a lot of people like to, Discredit Jimmy. Jimmy has dog in him. And that's what a lot of these players don't have. I feel like if Jimmy was still in Philadelphia, it wouldn't be it wouldn't be no nothing to talk about. Cause Tobias Harris, since he got that money, I have not seen him do nothing. And don't get me wrong, I'm not talking about it. Because if you give me some money, I'ma stop doing something. <laughs> when they come with the big budget for this show, watch how I come in here. Nonchalant. I won't be. So I think as soon as Tobias got that money, he started chilling. Why would I go play hard diving on the floor and I can't be around to spend this 120 M's? This is what I was playing hard to get. But Tobias, I don't know why Jimmy played that hard. Jimmy got the money. He just loved the game. And it's hard to find players like that now. Players that really love the game. But Jimmy Butler, oh, man. Hey, I told y'all. I told y'all. Anthony Edwards is not going to lay down. Anthony Edwards been playing good. And, and look, I'm a real man. I'm going to come back and say, Gobert stepped up. I don't know if you watched my show and you like, he telling the truth. And you stepped it up or you did it on your own. Why ever you did it, thank you. Dang. I don't know what's up with him. Carl Anthony Towns, like Anthony Elwood, I feel like he just like, I can't get swept. I got to come with something. I can't get swept. The Warriors done came back. It's an even series now. Even series. Now that's scary. I, I think they done knocked the fight out the Kings. And De'Aaron Fox, they say he might be hurt. I don't care what nobody say. I like De'Aaron Fox. I like De'Aaron Fox. Who I don't like is a bonus. I don't like, <laughs> bro, I don't like Sabonis. I feel like if Sabonis was black, he'd be Kwame Brown. Nah, I don't think so. Who, 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 who you think he'll be? Sabonis is an all-star. By default. By default. By default. I can name you 50 players. I can name you 50 players at Gresham Park better than Sabonis. <laughs> Damn the league. I can start right at Gresham Park. We ain't got to start talking the league. Yeah. I got a homeboy right now. The Terrors are shooting lights out against Sabonis. No. I like Sabonis, but I feel like he do a little bit too much. Sometimes he think he he think he got Jokic type skill set. Get that ball to De'Aaron Fox. I don't want to see no seven footer who don't walk straight dribbling up and down the court. Go get in your spot and box out. 
There's no reason you got nine assists and four rebounds. I don't know if that's his stat line, but that's crazy. You shouldn't be passing more than you rebound. If he do what he's supposed to do, they don't. The series is not even close. Draymond, another player who is a dog. You, I bet when teams prepare for Draymond, they never sit there and put his name on the board. And you know why? And that's where they keep messing up at. Because he going to figure it out. He a motor. He keeps it going. And I bet teams out there put some bonus on that board. Just remember, go out in there and do nothing. I never put him on my uh my interest because I know you ain't going to do nothing. Win what? The series. The series? Yeah. I got to see game five. If De'Aaron Fox play and they win game five, the Kings. Matter of fact, whoever win game five going to win it. Yeah. That, that, like, truth be told. Because the momentum, right now the Warriors got all the momentum. But if the Kings could fight right here, then they good. And, and the Kings should have won that last game. Harrison Barnes, you got one job. Look at the players we talking about, players who got the money early. Since Harrison Barnes got that money, he have not did nothing. I don't blame him. How much he got? Nine points, three from 11 from the field. Three from 11. You missed eight shots in the last shot. De'Aaron got you 38 points. Ain't had some bars. He like the veteran leader. Yeah, he used yeah. to play with the Warriors. That's why. I remember. remember. That's when he got the money, and then he went to Dallas. I remember this. If your veteran leader is going three, four, eleven, get the hell out my face. Don't come talking to me. Hey, De'Aaron, you should you should watch watch what I'm doing. You missed eight shots. Come closer. That's not your range. If you if you such a veteran, know what you messing up on. We don't need you to shoot threes. How many threes he took? Six. You one for damn six. I'm not no coach. I'm not no assistant coach. But sometimes the coaches got to start coaching. That's why I like watching youth youth league because them coaches are telling them exactly what they need to hear. Get your ass from behind that line. Get your ass over there. That's what them coaches got to start telling NBA players. Get the hell from over there. Get right there. When he throw you the ball, put it up. Stay right there. Don't move. If you want for six, ain't no reason. And me as a player, they be talking about don't throw your teammate under the bus. Shit. Darren, why you think we lost the game? Shit, I had 38. That's Aaron's, that's Aaron's the ball. He was one for six. Ask him. Don't ask me nothing. I scored 38 points. Don't ask me why we lost. I played. But he might be hurt next game. So that, that's going to be key. Speaking of hurt, Kawhi done got hurt again. The only... Don't get me wrong. Kawhi's a dog too. Kawhi is... Kawhi is one of my favorite players to ever watch because he plays defense and offense. My only thing with Kawhi, I never actually see him get hurt. Kawhi play a whole game. The next game you hear him say, Kawhi is questionable. From what? <laughs> Kawhi, if you want to take a day off, just say that. I know he used all his sick days. Kawhi, what did you do this time? Russell Westbrook, I, I just feel bad for him because he, 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 he plays so hard. Paul George got hurt on him. Now Kawhi, Kawhi, Kawhi got a cold on him. Kawhi sit down if he, Kawhi, it, it might be his allergies. You never know with Kawhi. It might be something simple. Yeah. We're getting to the lowlights. The lowlights? That was the start of it. I didn't see Kawhi get hurt. Man, who else was a low light? Oh, my God. Anthony Davis. The only thing I can say, at least you not hurt. Damn. 12 points? 
Bro, it's five other players scoring higher than Anthony Davis. But what people, I, I can't say that, but then I have to rescind my comment because technically he's going up against the defensive player of the year. So that might factor in. You getting tired. Jaron Jackson ain't no little boy. You ain't finna little boy him. Anthony Davis, sometimes every series is going to be better matchup for certain people. But what's helping is, how many did John Morant have, Marcel? Uh, the last game, he only had 19. 19. If Morant get anywhere close to 30, then it's a game. But I think LeBron too focused. Dylan Brooks should have just shut the hell up. <laughs> Bro, people got to realize, I know it don't matter how competitive you are. You know what I'm saying? Did y'all see the new house party? Yeah. Did you remember when that boy, uh, what what was his name? Uh, I know you're talking about. I can't think of his name. I want to say his real name. He he play in the shy. Anyway, Jacob Lattimore. Lattimore. Jacob Lattimore. You remember at the end when he said, "LeBron, I want to play you, and if I win, you don't call the police." That's how Dylan Brooks feel. You can't beat LeBron. But in your heart, you just want to you wanna have pride. Cut it out. <laughs> Cut it out. If I'm you, I'm going to go check somebody I know that I could, I could be competitive with. It's like LeBron switching gears. They come to me, who you want to guard? I'll point to somebody on the bench. You got a better chance of checking Austin Reed. <laughs> but, hey, man, that's a low light. AD, you got to be more consistent. Get some help. So, I think next series he'll be way better. Who uh, who would they potentially play? Uh, Warriors or Kings. Shoot. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> I think they got a better chance against the Warriors. I feel like Kings, Kings got that young team. And it, and it depends on De'Aaron Fox. It, that's what it boils down to. If De'Aaron Fox is healthy, which I hope he is, because we don't want, I don't want nobody to discredit the Warriors. If the Warriors do win, I want them to be, you know, they have played a healthy Kings team. If they go down, if uh, De'Aaron go down, and now you don't beat the Kings, is that, you know, what I mean, do we look at that different? Like with the Suns and the Clippers. Nah, that's different. And the only reason why I'm saying I look at the Suns, the Suns gonna have to get a bench. They 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 skated through against the Clippers. Cause you're right, if Paul George are playing, it'll be a different series. Kawhi too. Yeah, Kawhi too. Russell hit them folks well with 30. The Suns gotta get a bench. Truth be told, you gotta have a bench. Who else was a low light? Uh, Hawks game five. You said the whole. He said the whole team. Yeah, the whole team. <laughs> I just wanted to say a player. He said the whole Hawks team. <laughs> Man, um, I can't pinpoint it. Sometimes, sometimes a team is just better than you, and it's all right to say that in the mix. It, bro, Trey Young could play the best game. He can. Trey Young had a great game, I feel like. But sometimes when Trey Young is out there, he just out there. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, I ain't trying to, like, you know what I'm saying? Trey Young sometimes is just like, he just realized, like, man, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta play for me. Cause it's like, the, it's, the, it's no team identity. Huh? Collins. Then Collins get his money. Yeah. Every time they get that money, man, I ain't seen. You remember they were putting John Collins on shirt, calling him John the Baptist. Yeah. He ain't did nothing since that shirt. They had them shirts all at champs. They still there now. But you can't blame Trey Young. You can't blame a lot of people say Trey and Murray not 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 meshing the game. It don't matter how good they mesh. When you're going against Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown, you got to have somebody that can mesh against that. 
whatever unmesh me. So that's a low light. I wouldn't really say uh, technically the whole Hawks team. I don't know. I don't know what's their problem. They looking like the seed they are. And that's what it boils down to. They should have they should have been smart like Miami. Lose on purpose and play the Bucks. So Jimmy can say, this my shit. <laughs> hey, don't nobody want to play the Celtics. Don't nobody want to play the Celtics. You seen you seen what Philly did to uh, the Nets? Got them up out of there. Sweet. That's when you show you a dom dominant number one seed. Until then, it's just a good game. All right, we're going to get back to uh, – we're going to do some prize picks of the week when we get back. Uh, we're going to see who won, <laughs> who was right, <laughs> who was wrong in a minute. Stay tuned to Broken Play. Broken Play is sponsored by BetterHelp. Hey, problems going to come. That's what, that's what life is all about. Don't think you're too strong. Get help if you need help. And that's why I rock with BetterHelp. Therapy is all about deepening your self-awareness and understanding because sometimes we don't know what we want or why we react the way we do until we talk through things. BetterHelp connects you with a licensed therapist who can take you on the journey of self-discovery from whenever you are, wherever you are. If you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suitable to your schedule. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapy and switch therapists anytime for no additional charge. Discover your potential with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com slash 85 Sports today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp. H-E-L-P dot com slash 85 Sports. Welcome back. Welcome back. <laughs> This is my favorite part of the show. The Broken Play Prize Picks of the Week. Last week, let's get into it. <laughs> Ain't no sense to put your head down now. Uh, we had three winners. Well, actually two, because Marco just followed me. Uh, which is not bad, which you should do. Which you should do if you watch the show. Um, I picked Anthony Edwards to go on. And I told you. And it, it, it wasn't no big stats that I had to look up and what, whether do he play better on the road, better. No, he's from Atlanta. That's why I picked him. It ain't a secret. The boy from Atlanta, he was going to come out and play. The over was correct. Marco followed up. He, he, he took the Anthony Edwards over with me. Now, Marcel, I got to be honest. I, I, I dogged you when you yes. said Darius God. Yes. For the over. And the boy went ballistic. Yes, sir. He went ballistic. He went so he went so crazy. He messed up my bet with Donovan Mitchell. <laughs> this this on this on some uh, this ain't had nothing to do with prior to the other week. This is something I was doing for some other things. Uh, <laughs> yeah, he, he messed up that whole entry sheet. But no, you called that. He went crazy. Dome had Julius Randle going over. The Knicks, the Knicks been winning though, but they playing good team ball. Yeah, they just too deep, right? Yeah, but you still lost. It don't matter. All that, yeah, they just too. It don't matter. Don't be humble when you lose. <laughs> you on your Dylan Brooks shit. <laughs> be loud and room. You messed up. Now, Dome, that was a good pick though. I ain't gonna. That was a good pick. I could take it. Now the biggest loser <laughs> of the prize picks week. That pick, Austin Reeves. Oh, you got caught up in the hype. Calling the boy AR-15. All them nicknames. All he had to do was get 14 points. How many you had, Marcel? Well, yeah. you took the lowest points and still lost. And all you can do is shake your head. Nah, he was telling us he him. He was like, I'm him. And what I said. <laughs> anytime a white boy say, I'm him. <laughs> people gonna start playing defense better. Oh, you him? That's what they say. <laughs> <laughs> the coach, that's all the coach showed them in the field room. <laughs> I'm him. 
I seen everybody just start looking at you him. That's why LeBron been going off. They are triple teaming Austin Reed. You will never say I'm him again. <laughs> he was the point of focus. Well, with that being said, let's get into the new week prize picks of the week. I'm gonna let y'all go first because I don't want nobody copying me this week. I got Clay. I got Clay going over for 21. Over 21 points. Now that's not bad. That's not bad. It's game five. Game five. Who you got, Marcel? I'm going to go Drew Holiday fantasy points over. And what is it? It's not up yet, but he's going to make it. Oh, you? Oh, I'm, going, I'm going blind right now. Oh, man. Yeah. That was kind of gamble I like. <laughs> he don't give a damn what y'all put prize pick. He picking. Prize pick going to hit this and put 90. <laughs> Boy, gonna have to go get a whip Chamberlain on. Don, who you got? Wiggins, 17 and a half. At 17 and a half, what? Points. Points. Oh. Okay. Let's hit him in his chest. Yeah. Yeah. He said so. it. I like Donovan Mitchell. The Knicks are up 3 1. Mitchell got to do something. Right now, I see a 29 and a half. You need to be, if you're going to lose, be three for 30. <laughs> Shoot. Bro, if I lose, I want to say, yeah, I left it all on the court. You ain't leave nothing on the court if you three for 11, like Harrison Barnes. Harrison Barnes even going three for 11, and he the fourth man on the team. Because you got Sabonis. According to y'all, you got Sabonis. Because I, I like Fox, Monk, Sabonis. Then what? Harrison Barnes? If that. I like Murray. Yeah. If Harrison, if Harrison Barnes, Barnes is shooting 11 attempts, ain't no way, Donovan Mitchell, you don't at least give up 22 attempts. And if you can hit 10 of them, go through the free throw line, I like them 30 points easy. So we're going to write that down. So right now, me, Marco, and Marcel are undefeated. It's just one. Yeah, we 1-0. But if you 0-1, it's hard to come back from that. <laughs> hard to come back. So we're going we gonna to win. Who else? We need an honorable mention. Prize pick that all of us, all of us could agree on. Just to get up, you know, a little freebie. Devin Booker. Ah. For tonight? Mm-hmm. Wednesday. For tonight. We can do two. It don't matter when we drop the show. Y'all gonna watch it. Mm-hmm. And y'all gonna see if we were right or wrong. We might drop it. We might drop it Wednesday. Russ. That's it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Russ. Yeah. Russ points or? It don't matter. It don't matter Take Russ for everything. Yeah. He going 25 points. So we go over him. That's all they got him at 25 points? Uh-huh. I want to DM him and say, I'll bet two more points to him. <laughs> he going to at least get 27, 28. Yeah. That's who will leave it all on the court. I promise you, he'll go three for 30. <laughs> Before you say, Russ, you eat, you didn't feel like yourself. Man, I shot the ball 30 times. I did. <laughs> That's how I want my players playing. If I, if I put you on my interest, you would just see him just chilling. Bro, I took you on the point. Go get him. <laughs> so I think I think we're pretty good with those picks. That's a that's a, that's a, that's a good pick. Those were good picks. Um, so yeah, and, and start leaving in the comments if you take our picks and you was right. We 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 start needing that feedback because a lot of people start hitting me before we even made a broken play Twitter page. I said, hey. Appreciate the locks. And as, as a sports analyst that now I am, it brought a tear to my eye that people look to me for their picks. Anthony Edwards is also the lock. <laughs> and you know why? Because he's from Alabama. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. 
I don't know if Giannis. I think Jimmy. I think Jimmy Bucket just done got in the hole in Milwaukee. I, I I think he just done. Like you know how somebody just like he won't go away. Cause Milwaukee, if we want to talk about that game real quick, Milwaukee actually had took the lead. Jimmy Butler came out and hit a humongous shot. And he saw Austin Reeves say, I'm him. He said, I'm not saying that. He said, this is my shit. Hmm. That's who you want. Jimmy Butler. Put him on the sheet. So that's what, that's like a four pick. So y'all should be good with that. Well, with that said, man, uh, make sure you uh, sign up for prize pick. We got the, uh, what's our, uh, Broken play. Spell spell straight. So you know, that's another thing. I get tired of people with all them putting different extras and all that type of stuff. Make make it easy. They make they make it hard for you to get the money. That's why I like prize pick. Broken play. Spell just like that. It's a O, not a zero. Ain't no exclamation points. None of that. Broken play. Sign up. Get your free money. And come get some money. We'll be back, man. When we get back, we're going to knock out some interviews. Uh, we're going to talk a little, you know, talk sport. Talk what's going on. So y'all don't ever believe what I want to say. I bring people in here that talk the same language as me. You will never see people like Skip Bayless and Stephen A on this show. Because you can't lie or talk me. I'll cut your mic off. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we'll be back. Broken Play is sponsored by BetterHelp. Hey, problems gonna come. That's what that's what life is all about. Don't think you're too strong. Get help if you need help. And that's why I rock with better help. Therapy is all about deepening your self-awareness and understanding. Because sometimes we don't know what we want or why we react the way we do until we talk through things. Better help connects you with a licensed therapist who can take you on the journey of self-discovery from whenever you are, wherever you are. If you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suitable to your schedule. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapy and switch therapists anytime for no additional charge. Discover your potential with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com slash 85 Sports today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp. H-E-L-P dot com slash 85 Sports. Hey, man, it's Nav Green from Broken Play. If you're not hip to Channel 85 app, I don't know what to tell you. But I got some good news for you. If you're not on it, right now, if you sign up and use the keyword Broken Play, I don't even know I'm able to do this. We're going to take 20% off of the first year. I don't know if I'm able to do this, but if you put in Broken Play, it's going to do that. So look, type that in, and you won't just see Broken Play for like, you know, you're going to get early access to the show. You're going to see the full show, but you also get to see 85 South live shows. You get to see Poor Mind live shows. You get to see Jack Thriller show. You get to see everything that the app has to offer. You can download Channel 85 app on any of your streaming services. That includes Apple TV, Roku, Android TV, they on Fire TV, they on Chromecast, they on Xbox, they on anything that got streaming service availability. Check out Channel 85 app. So what you waiting for, man? Type in Broken Play, sign up, get your discount, and rock out with us. Channel 85 app. And just like that, we're back. We're back. I got uh, I got some special guests with me, man. Uh, George Foster, clap it up for George yeah. Foster in the building, man. See, yeah. and, and what's so crazy when I talk football, I had to start bringing people who actually played in the NFL. Yeah. Got to start. You got to have people that know them, for real. Because when I call a player, when I say a player not good, I want you to either agree or disagree. <laughs> like you can tell me you know the game. Yeah. So that's why I want George Foster in. You draft the first round. Yeah, yep, yep. 2000 and... Yeah, don't get all that. I ain't that old, but yeah. You ain't sure back, back, back in the day. <laughs> <laughs> you still back got some money though. <laughs> My kid got it all. Man, look. <laughs> you, know, you know, them ladies watching, you got to say, yeah, I gave it all to my kid. <laughs> From yeah. an all pro to a no pro. We got... Uh, <laughs> 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 we, we, we got like... <laughs> 
Why dog drunk in the bed? Yeah. 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 What, what age you start playing? Man, you know I played church league for a while, man. <laughs> so I, I, basketball. Yeah, uh, both. I played church league, man. <laughs> man I, I swear, check the records, football. man. Check the records, man. Voices of faith. <laughs> Voices of faith, man. What was this you played, bro? I played, I played uh, fullback from football and uh, on bro, the, uh, on the court. I ain't. You did not play no fullback. I swear, bro. You don't see my cash, man. I was playing fullback, man. You know, fast, man. That's bro. If they would put you in your right position, bro, you would be in the league. If you was a D tackle, you'd be straight. Guaranteed. Yeah. Yeah. But see, I timed out during high school, man. I timed out at the beginning of high school. I couldn't even, you know, I never got a chance to finish what I was supposed to. But so you were slow. No, I was fast. But when I got to high school, it's when I started putting that weight on. Oh, so you Yeah, it ain't add up. I ain't know how to block. They tried to put me at D-line. I ain't know how to block in the night. Yeah, you don't block at D-line. Yeah, you had to go. You had to go. No, man. But no, actually, when when we, uh, I've been touring with Drewski. So Drewski, he be in first class. They always, like, you know the white people sit in first class. They always ask Drewski what team he play for. <laughs> he lied. He give him a, he he give him a different team every, every time, time. Every time. You got I told to. that white you lady I play with Miami game. Dolphins, man. She was asking me, uh, she, she was like, oh, my God, I just love your figure. You you got to be great. I was like, girl, I don't even play this shit. But I didn't tell her that. You know, I still got, I yeah. got a number. <laughs> hey, Joel, I told her to check me oh, out, man. Oh, 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 when you watch, like, watching the game, now, who do you look at somebody as, like, you look at them and you like like with offensive line. So you look at the offensive line. Oh yeah, yeah. So who you sure. who you like right now? You like the boy for Dolphins that gave out? I mean, he with the Texans now that got all that money. Who you talking Thompson. about? Jer- Larry Thompson. Yeah, yeah Larry mm. Thompson cold. He he mm. a he dog cold with it. Mm-hmm. And the thing about it, he don't got he don't got about three bags. He don't got about two at least two bags already. He the highest he, paid right now. And right? he ain't number twenty eight. He don't get another bag. Another one, but you got him. You got Trent Williams out there, San Francisco. Mm-hmm. He tossing cats up into the stands. Some, some. He too real with it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He cold. He cold. You know what I'm saying? Who uh, one of the hardest defenders you had to go up against? Michael Strahan. He got the gap like you, my brother. Oh yeah. Hey. It's, it's, it's strength in the gap. Hey, you might be like real. You... That when that dog come out of you. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah. got a gap. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, you yeah. get on ground. We can still we can still talk with our mouth pieces. <laughs> Michael Strahan yeah. still talking shit on the line. You bring like that motherfucker. Yeah, straight straight with Cole. He he would he was probably the best man. But then you had cats out there like Robert Mathis. White Freeney. Robert Mathis from Atlanta. He oh, went yeah. to McNair. Yeah. 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 yeah, went to mm-hmm. McNair. Went down there to Alabama and the Bulldogs. Yeah. Um, you got to remember, they coming through with that blitz, too. Ray Lewis. I ain't Brian Urlacher. What are you you talking about? You ain't scared of linebackers? <laughs> he said, what? He ain't scared of linebackers. He ain't scared of linebackers. <laughs> It was like, them cats, they, be, they be flying through there, though. Yeah, they be, nah, they be Ray, nah, Ray, nah, Ray was the real deal. Yeah, Ray was, Ray real. was the real deal. Yeah. But, you know what I'm saying, I went, I went fading them. them you worried about them defensive oh, line. Oh, no question. Yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? I, I mean, so you was of, playing when they was able to smack at the helmet and all that, right? What you trying to say, bro? No, I'm saying <laughs> God, God. I'm yeah. saying, you know, the CTE and all that. You're playing around the ground when you had CTE. They were big on that CTE right now. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Drew hey, just called me yeah. old, man. Drew talked nah, I mean, talk like it. Drew talked like it. The, 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 the man was plastic. Yeah. Like, he talked like you had a kid. One line. <laughs> like what, what Clay said. He said, Herschel Walker played with the hell. Hell, it was That was me. Man. Oh, man. Y'all check out the fight that weekend. A little bit of it. Yeah. yeah that's yeah, all I, you I could see. Yeah. 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 He made that man Kaepernick, didn't he? Man. Uh-huh. He dropped Went down to a knee. Seventh round. Was I called it. Him. He dropped twice though. Yeah. That yeah. that first drop though. It was to the head. Yeah, but that woke him up. It woke Garcia up, and Garcia looked at him and said, I'm not supposed to be fighting him. Yeah. Yeah. Because he ain't fight yeah. the he same knew. after he that. Knew. He was like, he oh, I've been tripping. <laughs> Cause sometimes, sometimes when you drug up and you got that adrenaline, you feel like you can beat somebody up. Yeah. Tight hit and be like, you were right. <laughs> you were right. It's what? a wake up call. Oh, that's it's a wake up call. Yeah. That's what you need. It's yeah. like your parents putting them hands on you. You, you know what's going on after that. You were going with Tight Drew? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. A lot of people don't know you. I ain't gonna lie though. He, he, was, he was supposed to. Uh, he, Tank, Tank was supposed to do him way dirtier than that though, early off. But it, you know. 
I he feel had, like Ryan. He, he had to fill him up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The crazy thing about fights, what I figured, I figured out when they used to do them shows leading up to the fight on, on them networks with mm-hmm. Floyd and Ricky Haddon and all this stuff, I figured out that they build fights up knowing good and well it's lopsided. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? They build them, they, they make this cat look good. They make it look like it's going to be this great matchup. Then they get in the and ring it, and it, get It wasn't even close. I think Tank only toyed with him because Tank said, I think he said around the seventh round, he's going to knock yeah. him out. Yeah. Yeah. He, he did. Six, mm-hmm. One of them, six or seven. Six or, either way. He had the match to go a little longer. Money be on the line though. Huh? You know what? They I be want having them best who could go to that oh, round. Yeah, take yeah. better on yeah. himself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the bosses got it. Yeah. yeah. You know how much Floyd money Floyd Floyd used to do that shit on himself. Time. Yeah. Man, Floyd. He won a lot of money betting on himself. Man, yeah. speaking of Floyd, did y'all see him when they was introducing Tank? Y'all mm-hmm. see all them chains on? Oh yeah. <laughs> he don't know what to do with the money. Bro, he, he got my too girl much money. can't go to no boxing <laughs> match and see that. I want you to leave me. <laughs> Messed up, you sitting with me, and I got a dog tag, <laughs> memorabilia, necklace of me and my kids, and this man got on 12 chains. Hey, you yeah, got it, you man. got it like that. What? I ain't gonna lie, I ain't gonna lie, he having that shit though. You gotta understand that Floyd May- Money Mayweather, man, he been having this money for a minute, bro. Yeah. A long time. Yeah, long time, bro. And he Real disciplined tough. too. Yeah. yeah. Dis- nah, he ain't disciplined. He like gambled like a motherfucker. No, I'm talking, when I say no. disciplined, like, when it's time to fight, he oh, don't man. have sex, all that type of stuff. He did like, nigga, how the fuck you know that? <laughs> no, you know what he's saying? Oh, he, oh, he <laughs> said he don't have sex or nothing? Yeah, he said, no, no, I gotta believe his ass. He definitely take care of his body, though, right? Yeah. You know, Jack, Niggas I, listen I, to I, anybody that got money. He's like, yeah, he's eight times <laughs> two, he got money. Got, Hell yeah, he's got to do shit. Had a partner, partner, had a partner that do security for him. A nigga with money can say anything, yeah. you gonna believe that yeah. shit. <laughs> somebody broke up with his nothing. Like, like, ain't no No, I read it in the book. I don't care where you read it at. You a liar. You a broke-ass liar. <laughs> boy, you hell, boy. Now what I'm saying, that's why I'm there. It's true. It's true, though. It's true. When you got some money, be like, yeah, you know, you know the sun really, the sun really great. Oh, yeah. You yeah, got to get yeah, some right. money to see how you do. You just got to think about it. <laughs> you right, big bro. You right, big bro. You big bro. I know what I'm talking about, big bro. Mm-hmm. Nah, but... Mm-hmm. You been on your tour, Drewski. You were yeah, supposed man. to actually walk Tank out. Yeah, he, I was he, supposed to walk him out, man. You know, uh, we yeah, but we had a show that night. You yeah. just went too. You supposed to cancel that. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> I thought about it though. I thought about it. I thought about it. The money's too good, but I thought about going out there because I really I was supposed to walk him out and I was supposed to um do the press thing for him. You know, they had the people come up in the yeah. middle and then I was supposed to do a whole talk speech, all that. What if Garcia what if a Garcia had snuck you? Oh man. I would have dropped him and tried to sue his ass. <laughs> I'm getting that money about that shit, nigga. I'm a ball in the fight now. Fuck it. I thought you were going to talk gay. He's like, I'm going to just drop the game. I'm going to show his ass. <laughs> the real side of me came. <laughs> nigga, I'm from the suburbs, nigga. I'm going to show his fucking ass. What's that? Yeah. Yeah. Boy. Well, nah, uh, man, that would have been. It, it's going to be. He's going to have many fights. You yeah, got to yeah, start yeah, yeah. doing your tour around his fight. <laughs> you got to drop a tape. You ain't fight no time. <laughs> I feel like his next one gonna be a good one though. I, I just don't know who he'll fight at this point. He got it's so many fighters that he fought. That, I mean, I don't really see nobody fucking with him. Crawford, I, I want to see him fight Crawford. What y'all think about Crawford? That's the dude. That's um, he with the mob mob ties. Oh no, he a light skin dude. <laughs> 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 hey, hey, it's gonna send up. We're <laughs> <laughs> <The> moving right <laughs> along. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Hey, the wrong clip will get out. <laughs> Let me hear that again. <laughs> With the fingers. Young man, I never watched those sports shows. Ever. <laughs> but that's the last one. <laughs> oh, Who y'all got in the playoffs? Those. The oh, Hawks finished, so don't say the Hawks. Yeah. Hawks still got a chance. They got one more night tonight, right? <laughs> <laughs> this the last night. <laughs> this That's your squad, bro. This, this the last night. Yeah, show sure that. You ain't lying. And Mary, Mary, Mary suspended. Oh, Mary man. Too. So, I think they're going to pull one out, though. They ain't won yet, did they? <laughs> <laughs> they got, no, again. Another one. Yeah, you so don't believe me. You don't believe me. <laughs> who y'all <laughs> say? 
<laughs> now the, the hogs right now they be sponsoring, you know, helping with the yeah. show. Yeah. So I don't want to say it. Yeah. <laughs> this they last night. <laughs> <laughs> Jaden hey, Tatum and Jalen Brown gonna beat the shit out of him. Bro, this nigga stupid, man. Hey, man. Nah, honestly, like, uh, I like the Lakers right now. I, I like the Lakers, yeah, too. I like the Lakers because LeBron and LeBron that LeBron is in that mode. Every time somebody say something to him. I just need yeah. somebody to keep saying dumb mm-hmm. stuff. You heard they said, I, I don't know if I'm quoting this right, but they said LeBron said to Dylan Brooks before the last game, he said, you just playing the NBA. I am the NBA. Ooh, I could be man. quoting that wrong. I don't know. That's what they said. He what if he did say it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Boy, say it. that's a bad motherfucker. What? Right to now. say something? That's like what they that? said. That's mm-hmm. what they said. I don't know if they I said it. I am the NBA. Don't you quote just me on it. That man. And why need... Dylan Brooks ain't going to be on the team next year? Mm-hmm. That's when I know the statement was true. He, he yeah. trash. He playing like some buns oh, right now. But look, I wouldn't say that, George. He going against one of the greatest players yeah. ever. You can't, you can't talk shit to him. Bro, I'm not even trying to check you. Yeah. What you talking about? I wouldn't be saying I'm what you gonna do. You go against he, he LeBron. I'm not locking LeBron. We. What you mean we? LeBron ain't about to. He gonna get double every time. Man, that man breaking everything. So the whole Pre-game. team got the whole team with you. It ain't just you. Oh yeah, the whole team. So if the coach come yell at you while you ain't guarding him, what you saying? We a team. <laughs> that way you gotta start enforcing hey. that team spirit hey. right here. Hey, how do you? Ain't no iron team. You start coach. snapping on that. Yeah. Yeah. Ain't no iron team. Okay. We got to step it up around here. Yeah, these big school. That nigga, nigga got 20 points, 20 rebounds from us. <laughs> <laughs> nigga gave you 40. You know what <laughs> he gave you 40, nigga. Boy. Hey, see, and I blame the reporter because they be singling down. They be like, when Dylan Brooks was guarding LeBron James, he yeah, was 6 They make it look bad. They make it look bad. They make it look bad. <laughs> That's why you will oh, never man. see that. Oh, no, nah, we ain't playing man to man today. What oh, you mean, yeah. Dylan? Hell no. We in his own. <laughs> he did that against the zone. We were never playing man to man. I was in the zone. The that time. man was shook. They might not have been in the zone. You was in the zone. Though. You was in the zone. All those zones. <laughs> yeah, I was in the zone. I, I have all those zones sponsored to you. I've been in the zone so much. Nah, for real though. But I, I like, I like Phoenix too though. I like Phoenix. Oh nah, Phoenix got it. I, I forgot about them. Man, Jimmy mm. Butler hit them folk for 56. Jimmy say, what he say? He scored the first 22 points. Oh, hey. Of the whole game? No, at the beginning. No, he did. Yeah, he did. He scored the first 22 the first points. Quarter, for first quarter, the first 22 for points. For the heat? Off, off, right, as soon as the game started. Pull that up, watch that. Oh, shit. It was like I, I said. I, was I, was like, like, I told you don't put me on shit. I don't, I don't know. I was going to say, when a nigga getting 20, that's like, hey, come on. Hey, hey come on. And nigga got 20 already. He done scored that first 20. We play zone. <laughs> you look like one no. of them scouts from high school, one of them AAU scouts. No, he had 20 at the beginning of the game. The first, the first what, what the hell you going to do with that information? <laughs> Bro, no, but it's like. If somebody's got 22 straight points, they on a mission. Yeah, for real, on a mission. <laughs> you ain't, you ain't, ain't nobody else on the You know your team suck. You just doing the shit. <laughs> yeah. For real. So, I, I mean, but he had 22 in the first quarter. <laughs> in the first quarter, 22 out of the 28 points that he had. Yeah. That's crazy. Shoot, the, yeah, first... the rest of the team's go six points. Wow. Don't nobody, don't the nobody man, touch no more. You think the other night, uh, who, who the, uh, the Grizzlies had nine points in the first quarter. Yeah. This man had 22 yeah. by himself. Yeah. But John ja- ja Morant coming off an of injury, though. John ja Morant injured himself. Yeah. This man, jump- this man jumping off the trampoline every play. <laughs> you seen what he did yesterday? He was spinning in the air on, on trying to do some crazy shit what on LeBron. What he doing? He, he think he's soft yeah. down there. Yeah. No, that's wood on what top you, of What you think about John ja Morant just in general outside of basketball? <laughs> outside of basketball? <laughs> outside of basketball. Yeah. Outside of basketball, he could have a... a he can have an extreme a rap rap career. Career. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> hey, I saw that nigga could have been right now. Right now. Could have been right now. I saw that motherfucker that could have been right now. If he wasn't with the league. Yeah. If he wasn't with the league. league. Yeah. If he wasn't with Drew Lee. He got a whole show with him. He know how to dance. That's what I said. He could dance. The nigga got guns already. That, usually. I wouldn't call that a gun. <laughs> Damn. You, if you can hold your gun like this. He had him on the plastic before. <laughs> Man, I would have been the only in the league. And they had to track me. Yeah. <laughs> he had a gun. Uh-huh. He had a gun. Tony got it. He I said, said he was had, dry. He said to track me. On your mark. 
you, you, you jump when that Tony, you jump. That motherfucker. <laughs> you jump when he shot that gun, though. Yeah, he ain't lying, though. No. Yeah, nah, Tony, Tony got that shit, man. <laughs> you know that they say the small guns got the got the bullets that travel through you, though. Hey, bro, I ain't gonna lie. So don't sleep if, on John. If somebody, if somebody would have just like try to rob me with that. I know I would get gangster. Like, you would think you watch the snowfall. <laughs> Shoot me, nigga. <laughs> Shoot me. Oh, man. You tough? <laughs> but no, man. It just, oh, You have a hell of a rap career, though. You right, bro. Ja Morant? Yeah. Mm. Easily. Yeah. He, he might be all right. He but got like, a different, he got the colorful dreads. Yeah. Looking like little Uzi. His dad support the hell out of all that shit. Hey, that's what people. His dad off the chain. Yeah, his dad don't give a hey. fuck. Is his dad still with his mom? I think so. No, no, no. He hey. bought. He bought. He bought them a house. One of the houses across the street just for his dad. The other one for him and his family. So he, he still in the with same cul de sac. Yeah, yeah. See that what that was going on. He, mm -hmm. His dad is still hitting his mama sometimes. He don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's what I do. I break down all the facts. <laughs> I, I get I get behind the story. So details. that's where the gangster side coming from. Yeah, yeah. He got to show his dad like, man, stop playing with me. <laughs> stop trying, mama, like that, man. If you done, be done. <laughs> <laughs> if you done, be done. You wake up, see your dad still sneaking out the house. <laughs> he was just on a private jet with you and stuff. He balling and shit. Yeah. He probably made a promise. So he was like, Dad, I'll get you. I promise me you'll just leave mama out of this jet. You know, he was like, I promise you, son. He look on the camera, see him sneaking out. <laughs> You go to the game, you cry. <laughs> you let out all that. You can't, take, you can't take it serious, man. Yeah, Who's some of your favorite players, Drew? Shit, John Morant. <laughs> nah. <No. laughs> <laughs> he got you shit. He got you shit. Yeah, I, nah, uh, nah, I do like John Morant right now. John Morant crazy. Um, I like that 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 Jokic. Uh, big white boy. One? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He crazy, man. Well, I he wanna, score every I, time. I will argue when I just feel like you when like I watch soft. his game, no, when I watch his game, don't get me wrong, he get buckets, get, make great passes, he go for rebound. But I just, he moves so slow. I'm yeah, like, he's moving so much, but he score every yeah. time. He do move in slow motion, though. Like, y'all don't see that coming? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah he's so long, though. The nigga, it looks slow motion, but he's going from here all the way to where you at. <laughs> and one dribble. <laughs> one dribble. One dribble. Yeah. He nice, though, man. How about, you, how about, you ever played yeah. basketball? No. In high school. High school. What, what was he was? Seven? Seven had to be. That's uh, not I went out there dribbling the balls, man. Six six. Six six six. Damn. I can rap too. <laughs> nah, you gotta hear it yourself. Could have been. Let me hear something, nah, man. Let me nah, hear nah, something. Nah, I can't rap, man. Oh yeah, you know yeah, yeah, yeah. I could be could have been body, uh, uh, body security guard. guard. Yeah, yeah, security guard. Yeah. Security oh, guard. Nah, you gotta nah, pay nah, me good though. Now nah, how Drew be doing his security guard? You are man, you over there, man. I'm telling you. He don't realize. Go ahead, tell him. He know what it is, all right? He don't, he don't realize they his security guard, so mm -hmm. he don't finish cussing. Mm -hmm. They be like, but if y'all want to do that, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they don't play that shit. Nah, I be talking they, crazy. They're going to they gonna look the other way. Yeah. He got some real, though. They nah. get paid good, though. How you feel about Ant Man, though? Love it. A uh, dog. Anthony Elvis, I love it. Oh, you talking about. Uh, from, uh, yeah, ain't he from Spark Street, right? Out in Atlanta. He from where no, he went from. He, he from Oakland City. Oakland City. Uh, he from the West Side. Yeah. Oh, where shit. he went? Where he went before he went? To I IMG. knew he was around a little baby in them. Though. That's all I knew. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Four pocket four. <laughs> that's what four PL stands for. You know, that's, that's how, how you know like him. Old. Yeah, that's how you like him. He never said, know. He, he said, another. He another street nigga in the NBA. He, he Anthony said, Edwards. That's hey, another one. I want. I want all NBA street nigga team. Mm-hmm. And let them, mm -hmm. let them go to the Olympics. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I know they're going to come back to the show. Shit up. What's the four pockets? Like the, the money. Front, four in the pocket. back, in yeah. the back. Yeah, yeah. yeah back. I'm just asking you which four. Oh, look, yeah. Now, Joe, I'm going to be getting on them young hoes. <laughs> you know, all four pockets. <laughs> <laughs> they're going to be in pictures like <laughs> Hey man, hey man, hey, man. I ain't you gotta man. start throwing that up though. I, I swear, mean, man, that's I'm the new not, thing. Not, Everybody throwing the foes. Hey, Jalen Brown. Yeah, we'll put you in there. Jalen Brown. Court, uh, he from uh, <laughs> what? Jalen Brown from Marietta, though. Ain't he? Ain't he from, yeah, Jalen Brown. Jalen Brown from my side. Is he Pepper Brew? But no, he went suburbs. He went crazy in Atlanta, though. Yeah, he did though. He played for the Atlanta Celtics. 
Mm-hmm. He used to play for the AAU team. Jay hit the four for 31. That man had bogey shook. Yeah. Bogey kept opening the door yeah. every time he got the rock. But you know, he took the mask off. It didn't even matter. You said mask, mask off. That's what he mask off. Who? No, Jalen Brown took his mask off that last game. Oh, no. That, that black mask. I already know. Him. He was like, man, I'm in Atlanta. These old hoes I went to school with. I'm not wearing no mask. <laughs> not wearing no mask. But you finna see me. Man. I told you what was going to happen. <laughs> so who on your gangster team? You said John Morant, uh, Anthony Edwards. John Morant, Anthony Edwards. Got three uh, more. The gangster team. Jimmy Butler. Oh, Jimmy Butler's going to do it. Oh. He might not score no points, but that boy from Detroit that tried to fight LeBron and Draymond, <laughs> Isaiah Stewart. He oh, yeah, 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 he gangster, he gangster, he gangster. I got Draymond, Draymond, Draymond. 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 But I got Draymond tell, physical. He yeah. gonna put them paws on him. And we seen he got hands. Yeah. He gonna get out of here. We seen he got hands. You know tried to beat the shit out of that nigga. Hey, you know who my sixth man? Who? Jordan Poole. Or oh, Jordan Poole. Because I know he could take a punch. No. I know he could take a punch. <laughs> <laughs> he be barking like a motherfucker. I ain't seen him fight yet. I ain't seen him fight yet, though. Not fight back. I ain't seen him fight back. <laughs> I ain't seen him fight back yet. You need one white boy, though, just in case y'all get, you know, indicted. Oh, the that, Della Dover used to be that. Big boy from the big boy that's out right now for the uh, Grizzlies. Who gangster that's white right now? Steven, what is, Steven what is, Adams? Steven Adams. Nah. Nah. Uh-uh. Uh, Who? Caruso is kind of. Nah, no. Who, he should uh, play with Bron. Yeah, they, yeah, they, they might come. Now we talking about real gangster though, man. Yeah, we talking like, about doing uh, drills. Who gonna, who gonna go on a drill with Ja? You feel yeah. me? Yeah. With four K Ja? Who <laughs> gonna go on a drill? You feel me? And who ain't gonna say, "Let me out the car"? No, yeah. you yeah. Just, once you yeah. in the car, once you ride. in that motherfucker, we all yeah. them big Yugoslavians ain't getting out the car. Yeah, my brother. Yeah. Uh, what they, I what can't they, think of no white boy right now that's Serbian. gangster yeah, in the NBA. Yeah, Serbian. That's what they make the, what they, what they uh, make the... Man, yeah. I can't think of one. That's what I said, man. You know, Who down there in Miami? Tyler Hero? What oh, about Tyler him? Hero. Oh, Tyler Hero be rapping and shit. Yeah, no, I went to the studio with that nigga. He be, he, he he be rapping? rapping? He, 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 why he ain't on could have been? Rap. Yeah, he rap. Why, why, he ain't, why ain't on could have been? It wasn't too much there for me. <laughs> <laughs> he can hoop though, man. He can hoop. Hey, uh, man. He, he, I, I heard some raps. I definitely heard them. I'll tell you that. I who your NFL team, George? My NFL team? It used to be whichever one was paying. Yeah. That's yeah. Good. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> right now, right now, I, I wish the I wish the Falcons. It's hard to have a team when you play. Yeah. And then you Because you actually sudden, played like, with the you, Saints. You how, you, how you come from Atlanta and then? I was well, only, only, only saying for a, a brief time. I spent most of my time in Denver and mm-hmm. Detroit. This is where I played most of my career. Cold yeah, cities. Yeah, yeah, cold, cold, cold. Uh, won a lot of games in Denver, not so many in Detroit. Oh, yeah. yeah. They still ain't winning in Detroit. Von Miller told me about how Denver be. Denver is like, he said, it's quiet, it's freezing cold. You, know, you just, everything's strictly business. Now you can yeah, stay out Denver. of trouble, though. Yeah. You can get in some trouble in Denver, though. You can? Yes, you can. Ain't no motion in Denver, man. Ain't, ain't nobody having no motion. Go on somewhere. So, I'm he saying, what he about to tell him. He about to tell him something. That's what he's saying right now. Hey, nah, go on somewhere, man. Hey, 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 do somebody <laughs> sitting there with a beer, man. Got it, man. I knew he was not. Got it, man. <laughs> no, no, no. Denver was cool. I ain't, I ain't appreciate it until after I left, though, man. For real? Yeah, Denver was a cool place, man. I, mean, I enjoyed the, uh, Detroit too. The D is cool. Damn, you went in some whew. cold yeah. city. Yeah, Shit. it's cold. But Detroit, real player, man. Oh yeah, you yeah, didn't get you no buffs when you was in Detroit. I, I, I went, never, I went never on the buffs. I ain't really know, I ain't oh, yeah, really okay, know okay. it like that. You know what I'm saying? I just like these, what well, these cats got these funny glasses on. Yeah, they say yeah. they. Josh Smith, he was telling us when he got uh, went to Detroit. He said it was snowing so hard, so he called them folks and asked, uh, hey, we still got to come in to practice because it's like it's snowing hard. <laughs> oh, yeah. The city don't nah, stop. Let me tell you what happened in Detroit, in uh, Denver one time. What happened? Like, by, it, it seemed like about every five years they get a real a real blizzard. Mm-hmm. So this one morning, I opened my garage and it snowed up to my waist, like the middle of my stomach. Damn. And you see and like, six. Man, and I'm like, what we supposed to been in the I'm like, what, what, what we supposed to do? And so we making calls and all that stuff. Mike Shanahan, Mike Shanahan was like, uh, you've been suffocating in that stuff. <laughs> Mike Shanahan said, y'all get to practice. I don't care when you get here, just get there. 
Damn. And we made it there too. Because <laughs> he was you not shy. You, yeah. He was like, if if you need a ride, we come you through. With, we come through shit. with a snowmobile. Uh, you know, get you up there. And then they, they had they had line they had bets going on who gonna who gonna be late, who gonna be on time. See, Deion who Sanders they, dealing with all that right now. He yeah, in Colorado. Colorado. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Man, They'll be all right though. They about to have to go through that shit too. All, yeah, and man. they stadium outside. It's not like they don't, they don't care. Ain't no off days in football. No. Where you get one? Is Denver you Stadium outside too? Oh yeah. Damn. Hey, how did, is that air really like that? What they say? Hell oh yeah, yeah. it take about like if you want to get adjusted for real, for real, it take about two weeks. You ever you ever had a show there? Uh, nah, you ain't been there yet. Yeah, yeah. Just wait. As soon as you touch down, you go to flight. I've been step. on vacation there, and I you know you steps. can't breathe. Yeah, you like, and what's you going on? You can tell that. You quick. can tell that yeah. quick. You can tell that quick. It takes it's about like two takes weeks. About like two yeah. weeks for your blood to acclimate to it. You know what I'm saying? But but what what people don't really know though. It get more days of sunshine in Denver than it do in Florida. How do you have the snow out there so much then? It just it just snows sometimes. It can snow. My first time when out there, snow, my first week true. out there, it snowed and it was like 80 to 75, 80 degrees, like a day. It two, snowed day or two on 75? Like a day, like a day or two later. All the snow melted. Gone. Y'all mm-hmm. be fucking with the gamble? Y'all found out them uh, players got suspended for gamble? Which one? Uh, uh, for who, the, uh, who, 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 for Marcel, the, uh, who? man, you see, I got Cephas, research Quint, department Quintes, and all, yeah. man. I like that, Quintes, I like that. Cephas, I don't even know wait, his wait, name, because he's from, he from, in the NFL? Yeah. Oh, yeah, they just got suspended. About yeah. two, um, for a year. Uh, Quintes, Cephas. He from the crib. Shaker, Tony. Josh I don't know him. Shaw, James, Jameson Williams, TJ Moore. But how could they be gambling? What, he, what type he, of gambling he, are they doing? Here's the crazy thing about it. Two people got suspended a year. Like the other cats got suspended for six games because they were gambling at at the facility, but, the but it wasn't on NFL games. So, like, you can't even bet on a basket. You can't even bet oh, on a basketball. So you can't, you oh. can't do no type of betting on company grounds. Yeah. Which I think that's like if you ain't betting on the NFL, I don't, like See, I don't think that make no sense. If I play. And I know who we going up against. <laughs> I'm a bet. Why not? <laughs> like we play in Detroit. Oh yeah, we're gonna beat the shit out of them. <laughs> put me down for put me down for ten thousand. <laughs> <laughs> Can you blame them? They said Michael Jordan was doing that. Oh yeah. But this, nah, this, that he was different. They weren't gonna story. suspend him. Yeah, yeah. He he ran he, like they said, he it was the NBA. Man, David Stern would call him like, hey Mike, where you at? I'm out here gambling, what's up? He'll tell me. Suspend me. <laughs> Mike, you know we're not gonna do that. <laughs> Alright, I'll meet you back. <laughs> it depends on who you is, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah, it's certain play like the the that list he Like if Braun got caught gambling, what's gonna happen? Huh? If Braun got caught gambling. Hey man. I'm gonna bet with you, bro. What you what you going <laughs> Adam Silver gonna yeah, sit down there with him with the dice. <laughs> hey, but you ain't lying though. Two cats. <laughs> They they uh they cut them already. <laughs> a couple more of them cats, not so much. So <laughs> depending on how good who, you who, is. Who was the dude from the Falcons that was shaving points? Remember he was running sideways. Hey, man, what's that? That what they said. That what they said. Like I said, don't quote me on it. Man, stop. You talking about really? That's yeah. that really was yeah. better against the Falcons. <laughs> <laughs> the ball would come right there. They can... <laughs> 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 what the fuck you Boy, y'all wild. Boy. I swear, man. I, I just saw the clips of it, and I seen he was running. <laughs> Nigga had a straight shot to the end zone. He started running the diagonal. I'm like, why the hell would you cut back right there, nigga? Oh. <laughs> Oh, this stupid oh, shit, man. We gotta pull on some really, really clips. <laughs> bro, y'all ain't y'all right. right. Y'all ain't right. I ain't say, I ain't say nothing. And they be like, Don said, Hut really still on the line. <laughs> <laughs> he ain't telling me I ain't no. <laughs> 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 Nigga better get it. They don't want to play like they really like. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, y'all bro, stupid. How bro. you better get your team? You know. <laughs> that's why he's spending it. Yeah, they got his best out here. He had <laughs> two seasons of something crazy, right? Man. He did a whole season. Yeah, whole now season. Now he's down there in Jacksonville. 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 I'll be the good, though. They said that gambling has went up tremendously since he done been down there in Jacksonville. <laughs> I don't know if it's going to him or what. 
Where the hell you hear that at? What are you hear? He, he said they. I got Everybody, everybody can show who, a random nose. Everybody, <laughs> everybody know who they is. Oh, oh man. shit, man. But nah, man, this, uh, last but not least, man, before we get out of here, man, who y'all got winning it all? Mm. In what? Basketball. That's what we're in right now. Basketball right now. I'm going for the Lake Show. Lake Show. The Lake Show. They're gonna they're gonna do the impossible. See, I was thinking the Lakers before we mentioned uh, uh, the Sons. Phoenix. Mm-hmm. Phoenix, yeah. So no, so none of us got nobody coming out of the East. Y'all don't like Philly? Nah, hell no. We didn't be. They they the star power all in the West right now, right. man. Or tell me who MVP of the season. Ooh, I like MB. MB. MB did go crazy. He cooking. He cooking. They can't give Jokic. You know they don't be liking to give big man the the MVP though. Shit, they don't give Jokic two times. Jokic got it twice. Jokic got it. Yeah, he done got two times in a row. Yeah, they try, they talking about this is gonna be the third. They can't do it. They can't do it three times. Yeah, they can't give a three P. I think they gave him the MVP two years in a row. Yeah, they gave him two years in a row. MVP. They ain't won Jack. Drew, a lot, of, uh, a lot of NFL, NBA players, all them follow you. Like, who was you starstruck when you met? Like, not starstruck, mm. but like, damn, I ain't know you rock with me. Uh, I think LeBron, for real. That nigga was- Oh, you went, met him at the house party? Or you nah, met him before nah, that? I, I ain't meet him at house party. I met him at a, uh, we was at the Summer League event in, in Vegas. You know, they do the Summer League right, basketball. Right, right. So him and Russ came out there and supported everybody. But it's like, when I shook Braun's hand, I felt like, you remember on Space Jam, when the nigga like, <laughs> I grabbed that nigga hand. I was like, oh. That's how I felt when I, I grabbed his hand. I was like, damn, man. It's just that was one person I was really like in shock, man. I couldn't even believe I was holding his hand. He like oh, oh, our, our he door. Nah, not held his oh. hand. <laughs> but I did try to hold on to that motherfucker. Maybe some could translate yeah. to me. You know man, what don't shake my hands so fast. <laughs> some type of athletic yeah. ability, please. <laughs> nah, but uh, he he he's one of the ones, man. So. Yeah. What about you, Joe? Who you done met that you was like, damn? My my favorite athlete of all time is Shaq. For real. So me and Shaq, me and Shaq was cool. And yeah. you know, I don't meet people too often that make me feel small. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know what I mean? So me and Shaq, me and Shaq was pretty doggone cool. Me and Magic. Oh. Me and Magic Johnson. Me and Magic Johnson. Hey, 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 I'm getting the better, man. We got to start a test run in the month. Me and Magic Johnson. Me and Magic Johnson. You know, back in the day, I was in one of his uh, uh, fashion shows for his, his weekend he used to have out there in L.A. Uh, but Magic used to spend a lot of time in Atlanta. That's why they did the Magic City. Uh, no, I remember they had not Magic City, the Magic, Magic, Johnson, Magic Johnson Theater. Theater. Yeah. Magic Johnson. Uh, they shut them shit the down. Guy. No, nah, that Magic Johnson Fridays out over there on Greenbrier yeah. mm-hmm. and all this. They still got a couple of them. Used to be. Probably the out there. They're probably out there in LA. LA. Oh, you know okay. the theater at Greenbrier yeah. been, yeah. been done. But, man, that had nothing to, to do jump. with Magic. That was just that long. <laughs> that long got that one shut down. <laughs> <laughs> it, was too, it, was too, it was too wild. So the Shaq and Magic. But new, two new, fa- new face say he got a Cadillac stole from in front of Magic Johnson Theater. For real? That's about that story. I got it. New face say he got it. He got it. Cadillac so look, stole from over there. How Shaq and Mag, those two different type of people. No, it's just, just they were the biggest athletes of, of my growing up. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? Outside of Michael Jordan, I ain't never met uh, Michael Jordan, but um, yeah, man, it was it was uh, it was cool meeting them cats, especially Shaq. Like I said, he's my favorite athlete of all Shaq. time. Shaq. Mm-hmm. Yep, you know football, my favorite Shaq's sport. Cool, I love, love football. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no better game on earth than football. But Shaq was my dude. So who a football up. player then? My favorite football player, Bear Sanders. Yeah. Bear who, Sanders. Who, who was you shocked by that you played against and you was on some like, damn, I can't believe I'm playing against them? Uh Deion Sanders. Oh damn. Deion Sanders. Shout because he was he was he was at he was at the end of his career. He was in Baltimore at the end. Yeah. Uh-huh. Oh, and, he was thirty seven then. That was yeah, number thirty seven. Yeah. Yeah. And uh just being on the field with him was like Man, I remember when you must be the money. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> you hanging out with MC Hammer, man. That was yeah. that was that was that was. Yeah, music videos and bro, shit. You yeah, know why? Like, the the like being like, the cause I remember I had said something. Bart Scott was saying something, mm-hmm. and um, I was walking over there. You know what I'm saying? I was, you know, I wanted to do something to him, and Prime was like, man, big fella, don't, he don't know no better. Just just relax. It'll be okay. <laughs> yeah, I like him because so you know how they bring out them old clips. They said. Cause you know draft coming up, 
New York Giants wanted Dion to sit there and do a written test. You know, to test his Correct. knowledge of football. Yeah. He said, why? I'm not going to be here when it's y'all turn to pick. Yeah, and left. he did that. And left. He did that. I love your story like that. That's yeah, gangster, he said, he, told, he, told, he said, what pick y'all got? He was like, whatever, whatever yeah, pick. I thought he said nine, nine or something like five, that. He said, I won't, I won't be, I won't be there. <laughs> be y'all pick. Yo, that's crazy. <laughs> it was the truth. It was yeah. the truth. The truth. Man, yeah. I appreciate y'all pulling up on Broken Play, man. Oh, that, you know what I mean? It's the best show right hey, now, man. Hey, hey, y'all hey. stop playing. Hey, man. Hey, stop, stop playing. Stop playing with Nav. Stop Skip playing. Skip Bayless done DM. Yeah. He, he, he said, fucked. bro, stop. Yeah. They talking about <laughs> no, you. They talking about me at Fox Sports and ESPN. Yeah. They yeah. trying to counsel yeah. me. Yep. Yeah. They can't do it. They can't do it. They can't right. do it. Because they ain't, ain't. Don't nobody know the knowledge you know about sports, right? Show them the notes. Record it. Show them the notes, man. <laughs> Record it. <laughs> we might got a new intro. <laughs> <laughs> nah, man, I'm now bringing this been Broken Play. Man, make sure y'all check out Drewski and check out Joy Fox on IG, on Twitter. Uh -huh. I'm checking my. No, on Twitter. Joy, Joy, on Twitter. Hey, look, Joy, 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 on Twitter. Joy, Joy. On Twitter, he might come and say the whole game, man. You get on there by 11.30, you don't see nothing about retweet about home, shake it out. Boy, you stop. Not me. My he's mother talking, he, me. He's talking about, I got hacked. I got hacked. <laughs> <laughs> in the morning, back to him. Hey, stupid. man, appreciate y'all.